Well, this is the Parker Manatee Aquarium at the South Florida Museum in Bradenton, Florida. And we're a second stage rehabilitation facility for manatees. And we've also had um, the benefit and the pleasure of housing Snooty, which happens to be the oldest captive manatee in the world. Snooty was born in Miami in 1948 and came up to Bradenton for a DeSoto celebration that we had and Bradenton liked the idea of having a little manatee around so they asked the owner of what was then called the Miami Aquarium and Tackle Company if anything happened and they decided they didn't want to keep the baby if we couldn't adopt him up here and that's kind of the way things worked out. So Snooty came up here permanently in June of 1949. He's been with the South Florida Museum ever since then. We've been hosting other manatees since 1998 when we became part of the Manatee Rehabilitation Partnership and so we currently have two manatees with us. One's name is Charlie and the other one is Epac. They're both males. Epac came to us because he was pulled into captivity as a result of cold stress. Manatees can't stand to be in water colder than 68 degrees and he had a swollen muzzle and some flippers. Charlie was with his mother and still so tiny he was still nursing when um, his mother was hit by a boat. And when that happens, the United States and Florida Fish and Wildlife bring both manatees into captivity into the hospital so that the ba baby can continue to feed. And unfortunately, in his case, the mother did not survive. So he was just way too small to be returned to the wild. So he's going to hang in with us until uh, winter of next year, at which time he'll be released in a winter site where there's hundreds of other manatees that he can mentor and follow around with. Well, obviously with Charlie, you know, his mother was hit by a boat and she didn't survive. So. Uh, to make sure that people are cautious when they get, they're boating through manatee zones, that's extremely important. Um, as well as um, things like fishing gear, we, you know, we got figures back from last year and we found that a good portion of manatees that were injured and brought into the hospitals was a result of left crab trap lines and fishing gear. So those are the two things that we know that people can do is slow down in the, in the manatee zones and be careful about pulling out your gear when you're done with it. Well, I think one of everybody's favorite is the fact that he really does like cameras, and hopefully you will experience that shortly. And he always goes for the bigger camera. Um, he's been that way. We, you know, even when we did his 60th birthday, we had a lot of people from the local press here, one after another, and he posed for every single um, shot, pulled himself out of the, the water, and smiled for each and every camera. So we know that he loves cameras. We don't know how he got trained for that, but that's one thing for sure. He does like to be hand-fed. He is capable of feeding himself on the... Uh, environmental enrichment devices we provide for the other manatees but he pretends sometimes like he doesn't know how just so he gets attention from one of his care people so he, he, he does like to snow us every once in a while when he thinks he can get away with it. Well they can click on the South Florida Museum site and there's a little button that you can tab that says donate here and that will help us feed. It also helps with the veterinary bills because we are responsible for that when the animals are under our care as well as transporting them to their release sites when they go back out.